CompTIA A+, Core 2, Complete Training Course. Exam Objective 1.9, Given a Scenario, Perform OS Installations and Upgrades in a Diverse OS Environment. Installation Types With boot methods behind us, let's shift our focus to the types of installations we can perform. From clean installs, to seamless in-place upgrades, and more advanced techniques like image deployment, we'll cover it all. So, buckle up, and let's get started. First up is the clean install, an installation type that wipes the slate completely clean and starts fresh with a new OS installation. This approach is particularly beneficial when you want to ensure there are no remnants of the old system that could cause issues or when you're preparing a device for a new user. Imagine you're preparing a laptop running Windows 10 for a newly hired employee. During the setup, you'll format the drive, which erases the old OS and any lingering files. After the installation is complete, you'll configure the new OS, install the necessary drivers, and set up the device according to the new employee's needs. This installation type ensures the new hire starts with a clean, optimized system, free of any previous user's clutter, providing a fresh, trouble-free start with the new OS. An in-place upgrade involves updating the current OS to a newer version while keeping files, user preferences, and third-party device drivers intact. It's like giving your system a fresh coat of paint without moving out all the furniture. When considering an in-place upgrade, it's crucial to back up your files. While the process is designed to preserve your data, having a backup ensures you're protected against any unexpected hiccups. Imagine upgrading from Windows 10 to Windows 11. You'd start by backing up important documents, photos, and other personal files. Next, ensure that user preferences, like desktop settings and installed applications, are ready for the transition. Lastly, double-check that all third-party device drivers are compatible with the new OS version, as outdated drivers can cause issues during or after the upgrade. A repair installation is your go-to when the OS is acting up, but you don't want to start from scratch. This installation type reinstalls the OS without affecting user data and applications. It's perfect for fixing system issues, like corrupted files or problematic updates. Imagine your system is running slow due to a recent failed update. A repair installation can replace corrupted OS files, bringing your system back to life without losing your precious data. It's like giving your OS a much-needed tune-up, ensuring everything runs smoothly again. One crucial tool often utilized during a repair installation is the recovery partition. This hidden partition on the internal hard drive contains the OS setup files and tools needed to restore the system. Think of it as having a built-in safety net. If your system becomes unusable, you can boot into the recovery partition and initiate a repair installation. One last installation type worth exploring is image deployment. This installation type involves creating a system image, which is a snapshot of a fully configured OS with all necessary applications device drivers, and settings, which can be used for deployment to multiple machines. When preparing an image for deployment, it is a good idea to include any necessary device drivers and application license keys. Imagine setting up a computer lab with identical systems. You'd start by configuring one system with the desired OS, installing all necessary drivers and software applications. Then, you'd capture an image snapshot of this system. You could then deploy this image to other machines, ensuring they all have the same configuration, saving you the hassle of manually setting up each device. This method is perfect for environments like schools or offices, where uniformity and super-fast deployment are paramount. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.